now amenorrhea means what amenorrhea means absence of periods patient has not got her periods primary amenorrhea means patient has never got her periods so primary amenorrhea first of all means that patient has never got menses but never got menses till what age 15 16 17 18 7 9 10 what okay so remember that the definition has changed so this is a short short virgin mcq the definition of primary amenorrhea has changed first i will tell you what is the old definition so that then you understand what is the new definition is it clear and old we are not supposed to remember but new is what you will remember in exam okay now please understand this that patient has not got her menses that is correct now all of us know from the basics of our pediatrics that it is thalarchy pubarchy menarchy that means sir first there is development of breast then there is development of axillary pubic hair and then there is development of menses these are the main events tpm thalarchy pubarchy menarchy so this presence of breast development and presence of axillary and pubic hair okay breast development and axillary and pubic hair growth of axillary and pubic hair is called as secondary sexual characters okay these together is called as secondary sexual characters okay we will call it in short form ssc secondary sexual characters okay so now please pay attention if i see a girl in the opd and if secondary sexual characters are present okay that means sir breast development already started very good pubic hair development actually already started then i would like to wait 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 that means i would like to wait more and then if she still does not get menses by the age of 16 years then i call it as primary amenorrhea or i used to call it and if secondary sexual characters are absent and there's no point waiting okay so secondary sexual characters are not there and if the girl reaches 14 years so 14 and 16 were i repeat were the important numbers to keep in mind i repeat that's a 14 year old girl girl has become 14 years still there is no axillary hair no pubic hair no breast development and she has not had got her periods i call it as primary amenorrhea but if this thalarchy pubarchy is present, then you can wait, right? Okay, menses aayenge, menses aa sakta hai, menses aa sakta hai. Remember in that Karan Arjun movie, many, many years back, that Rakhi, mother, mere Karan Arjun aayenge, Karan Arjun aayenge, like that, menses aayega, menses will come, will come. So then you wait, 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 wait. And if still the menses does not come, then at 16 years of age, you label the girl as primary amenorrhea. Is it clear? So please understand that in presence we can wait more now this is a short short mcq please understand this is the old criteria don't remember this 14 16 numbers today in the last decade overall girls have started getting menses early menarche age has gone down over the years okay so we have decreased one one year in this definition and therefore the new or the latest definition and short short in the entrance exam is this 14 has now become 13 years and this 16 has now become 15 years of age secondary sexual characters condition and of course remain the same that means i repeat in absence of secondary sexual characters no mens is till the age of 13 years and in presence of secondary sexual characters no mens is till the age of 15 years is considered as primary amenorrhea clap if you have learned something new okay so please remember simple yaad rakhna hai 13 years 15 years just remember that means if i see a girl in the opd no axillary hair no pubic hair no breast development even at the age of 13 years i label her as primary amenorrhea if i see a girl in the opd if axillary hair pubic hair breast has started developing i wait 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 and if by 15 also the periods don't start then i label her as primary amenorrhea so absence of menses absence of menses by the age of 13 years in absence of secondary sexual characters and no menses by the age of 15 okay so this is very very important now can anybody tell me in order again a short short mcq so this itself is one mcq in order of frequency what are the three causes of primary amenorrhea so again you will buy hard this very popular mcq number one most common cause for primary amenorrhea yes 
ovarian dysgenesis also called as because ovary is the gonads so ovarian dysgenesis also your gonadal dysgenesis mean the same thing or also or called as turner syndrome this is the most common cause number 1 i'll show you the slide in a minute at number 2 i have got rmkh what is all this don't get hassled in the next 20 minutes all of you will become expert in this topic is my guarantee rmkh syndrome also called as mullerian urogenesis is the second most common cause and complete androgen insensitivity syndrome also called as testicular feminization syndrome and why it is uh, important to remember both the names also i will tell you in some time so these are the causes of primary amenorrhea in order of frequency okay so now very very important as i said a five star slide lots of important mcq information on this slide i repeat the definition first should be clear in absence of secondary sexual characters no period till the age of 13 years and in presence in presence of secondary sexual characters no menses till the age of 15 years and this is very very important please don't make a mistake in order of frequency number 1 is ovarian dysgenesis or turner syndrome extremely repeated pyq asked many times in the exam rmkh full form is rokitansky mayer kirschner hauser we call it rmkh or many people call it as mayer rokitansky so you want to call it as rokitansky mayer or mayer rokitansky both mean the same thing also called as mullerian agenesis mullerian duct does not develop what all structure comes from mullerian duct all that we'll discuss and number 3 androgen insensitivity syndrome or testicular feminization syndrome all this is very very important so first remember the definition then remember the top 3 causes in order of frequency details of all this coming up in the next 5 minutes and like a breaking news remember each and every patient of primary amenorrhea karyotyping has to be has to be has to be done why also you will come to know in a minute because all the three cases 1 2 3 which you will i will tell you the karyotyping is different so now first understand your final mbbs pediatrics what are the features of turner syndrome anybody what are the features of turner syndrome yes short stature wide carrying angle shield shape chest why because there's no estrogen coming up so no no breast development okay so short stature high arch palate heart disease coarctation more common wide carrying angle all that correct short stature okay all that correct and yes streak ovaries very good so turner syndrome and all of us know the famous karyotype is 45 xo turner syndrome is 45 xo all of us should know this and remember streak ovaries remember streak ovaries means what ke basically ovary is replaced by fibrous bands so basically it is non functioning ovary streak gonads so remember ovary is basically not functioning i am putting a cross ovary is not functioning streak ovaries ovary replaced by just fibrous bands and non functioning ovary but the most important point to be kept in mind from the entrance exam and asked many times that in turner syndrome can anybody tell me what about the uterus is the uterus present absent small normal what so remember student that turner syndrome it is never absent uterus uterus is present but 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 uterus requires estrogen for its growth and estrogen comes from the ovary it is not functioning over here correct streak ovaries so non functioning ovary so no estrogen and therefore a chintu a chintu or a small or a hypoplastic uterus but yes a uterus is present so turner syndrome remember is never absent uterus uterus is present but a small or a hypoplastic uterus so in turner syndrome the uterus is going to be present however it is going to be small that's why i have drawn arrow down it's a small uterus also called as hypoplastic or underdeveloped uterus but it is not absent uterus why it is so much important to know that it is not absent uterus you'll come to know in the next 5 10 minutes so just remember it is streak ovary so rest all features are okay whatever you want to remember from pediatrics short stature high arch palate shield shape chest widely spaced nipple wide carrying angle all that correct but remember streak ovaries and hypoplastic uterus or a small underdeveloped rudimentary uterus is present in a patient of turner syndrome